Hello, it's Nick, and today I want to show you how you can use Google Bart in your design process. Bart is AI chat created by Google. It's a competitor of the ChatGPT. You might wonder, why to use Bart when we have ChatGPT? The answer is, Bart offers some unique features that ChatGPT doesn't have, and I will show the features in a moment. Bart can be used for the same tasks as ChatGPT. In the context of product design, I find BART especially useful for product ideation, market research and usability testing. Let's suppose we are building a food delivery app and want to create a product design strategy. We are going to release a product on the US market. Let's submit this prompt to BART. One thing that you probably noticed that BART doesn't provide a real-time response. It doesn't type in as ChatGPT. We have to patiently wait and BART will generate the content for us. As you can see, BART generated a product design strategy for food delivery app. It covers essential sections such as target audience, product features, unique selling proposition, product roadmap, marketing strategy, etc. I would say that the strategy is overall relatively general, but it can be very useful at the early stages of product design process. Let's submit a more specific prompt now, such as conduct SWOT analysis of the specific app. SWOT is uh, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. It's a very general way to summarize in the information about the specific product available in the market. And now I want to show you one cool features that Bart has. We can click this button, it says double check response, and it will search the Google in order to find the evidence for the response it provided. So right now it's preparing the results and now you can see that green are the responses that Google found as evidence. This statement is validated on this resource and another strength in this list is validated on this resource. But we can also see that some of the responses that it provides doesn't uh, ring the bell for the Google. So Google search didn't find relevant content that supports this statement. And when we prepare some information that we want to share with our team, we can easily remove anything that is not supported by the actual information on the Google search and provide more relevant information to our team. And similar as a chat GPT, we can ask follow-up questions such as, for example, now we have the context that Bart knows that we're talking about Uber Eats and we can ask what competitors it has. So as you can see, Bart knows that we are talking about Uber Eats and it mentions the competitors. Again, we can validate the response by checking the Google search results. So let's see what we will have at the end of the day. And it looks like sections colored in green are the primary competitors of the Uber Eats app in the United States market. Now let me show you another feature that is called AI Lens. As you probably know, it allows us to use the image and Google research the properties of the image using AI. And we can add image along with the text prompt to extract some information from it. So I, I've added a visual of the UI that I like and I ask the Bart to provide a step-by-step -step guide on how to design this UI in Figma. So the design that I provided was taken from Dribbble. It is basically a finance app that has a very common features such as current balance, daily income, transaction history, etc. And let's see what the Bart will prepare for us. So tells us that we need to create a Figma document and new frame with a solid background color. Add the following text elements. It looks like Google Lens to extract these elements. So the balance is evidently was taken from the screenshot that I provided. And it also provides information about the icons that we need to add and additional tips for designing the screen. I would say that this information might help us to 
structure the screen, but it doesn't uh, look really good when we are working on the actual design. So if you expect to see an actual guide on how to create, recreate something in Figma, like a step-by-step -step process, but won't do that for you. So you need to use another tool for that. And the last thing that I want to show you is uh, using BART for things like a usability testing. And in this context, I would say that it can be good for writing questionnaires for usability testing. Let me write the prompts. Okay, now you can see that Bart created a basic information about demographics. It's not actually the questionnaire, but rather the information that we need to collect about our target audience to invite only the people that match our target user. And pre-test questions, which are the questions that we asked before running the actual testing session. These are the, what are your expectations for a food delivery app? What features are the most important to you in a food delivery app? These are the things that we ask even before showing the UI to our users. And these are task-based questions, the questions that we ask users to do in our app. And I would say that they are really good. I mean, in the context of the food ordering app that we are building, find a restaurant that serves specific types of food, like a pizza, and order a large Pepperoni pizza sounds like a really great task. And post-test question is a, are the questions that we ask after the user complete the session, all the tasks that uh, we ask them to do. And these are the general questions that intended to understand what are uh, their thoughts about the app. So I would say that the questioner looks really good. And Bart also offers some additional information about how we can use system usability scale to measure the overall usability of the app. So what we can do with this information? We can either copy paste this and share it as a document with some of our team members, or we can use another cool features that Bart offers, which is called share and export. Once we click that, we can click share and it will create a public link to the, this chat. We can either copy specific prompt. For example, if I want to share only this specific prompt, I can select this option or I can share an entire chart with someone. And let's copy only the prompt in response and create a public link for this. And once we do that, it will create a link that we can share with our team members who do not have to have a Google account. So we can copy this link and we can open it, this link in another tab. And as you can see, these are the initial prompt that I've submitted. And these are the answer that Bart provided. So we can continue this chart. And if we click that, we start from the place we ended. So we can continue this conversation with the Bart with all the information that we need. So that was it. Hope it was helpful. Thank you.